Now, in a Midwest Farm Daily update for you on this Tuesday, we're facing a global maple syrup shortage. In fact, you might have heard about Canada releasing some syrup from its International Strategic Reserve. Well, it's actually a warehouse the size of five football fields near Quebec City, stacked with drums of the popular pancake topper. Well, now local producers are stepping up to get more syrup in the pipeline, and they tell Armelaine Wells collaboration will be key for the industry. Uh, a lot of our SERP last year went to New Hampshire. Uh, we've sold SERP to Vermont, we've sent it to Canada, we send it kind of all over wherever, wherever the best price is. The owner of Blazers Acres says the maple syrup industry is flowing with increased demand. The coronavirus, everything kind of took off with people cooking at home and that really exploited things. Uh, people are starting to eat healthier and use better uh, methods of sugar. Exports are way up. China is really using the syrup a lot. And uh, uh, there's so many things you can do with syrup now. You know, they make sugar, they make cream, they make candies, they make, you know, cotton candy. I mean, you name it, you can make anything out of syrup now. However, consumers found themselves in a sticky situation when production on a global scale dropped by 70% this past year. The, the price of syrup definitely is on the rise, uh, mainly due to the high usage as well as the short crop last year for the major producing sections of the world. Thankfully, Wisconsin fared better than other states. We had a pretty good year. Uh, we did around uh, 5,000 gallons. Uh, like Canada was way down, East Coast was way down, and them are the, the main uh, sources of maple syrup. To help fill demand, Blazers Acres is looking to ramp up production. But even with 17,000 of their own trees tapped, they're looking for more raw ingredients. Uh, we're looking to buy sap from a small producer to a large producer. We're looking to buy around 200,000 to 300,000 gallons for the season. Uh, we, we would like at least like 500 gallons of delivery. Uh, we do have a uh, two inch quick couplers on our truck, so we we ask that you're able to hook into our tank so we can make a quick, easy process. The farm invested in special tubing to make tapping and collecting their own sap easier. It funnels that sweet tree nectar into a central area for processing. Yeah, the blue lines, uh, it's a long process, but uh, it goes inch and a half to one inch, down to five sixteenths, into the pump house, and then into a big stainless tank. and. Uh, it makes the uh, short season possible because with labor you could never do it otherwise. Blazers Acres has production sites in Swamico and Crivets to catch different parts of the season. Anything's possible. We've made SERP in February and we've made SERP as late as uh, April 1st starting dates. Mother Nature is in charge of the timeline with specific temperatures needed for the sap to run. Uh, 20 degrees at night and 40, 45 during the day is the best. That may, what makes the pressures and make everything really come out good. Sure looks good too. Well, if you're interested in selling sap, we have Blazers Acres contact info in the Midwest Farm section of wearegreenbay.com. They also do have some syrup to sell at their farm stand in Swamico.